Yeah, so it's been a minute since I've been on here. It's been two months and I decided to go ahead and do a update on my hair. Um, right now, I am about seven and a half months locked and I've actually, I think I skipped the six month. I think I skipped the six month lock update because I think it gets to a point where um, there's not a whole lot of growth or um, progress that happens that you feel like, you know, it's worth filming about. So, you know, and even at this point, I don't, I don't think I have like a ton of growth at this right now, but, um, I decided to go ahead and do an update, let you know what I've been doing. So let's jump right into the video. So right at three months, not three months, six months, I decided to do a ACV rinse because I noticed that I did have some buildup that was accumulating on my locks. And I did the ACV rinse with the baking soda. And I don't think I had any lemon juice or anything to put into it, but I did that rinse and it was, it really does clean your hair like nothing else does just soaking your hair into that mixture you notice that all the buildup that's on your hair it starts to come off and it settles into the water and um i didn't film it because i felt like you know so many people have filmed that on youtube there's no point in filming me doing the rinse because it's basically the same steps but um i do think that i'm going to be doing that like every six months to um, you know, do the rinse and um, just make sure that my hair stays build up free because, like you know, I've said this in a previous video, I really do like to use like my styling wax. It's not beeswax, but it is a styling wax, and I know that even though I use it in small amounts, it probably does contribute to the build up that I have on my hair. One of the things I have noticed since I locked my hair is that I have more so of a problem with dryness. And that's something that I've always had a, a issue with, even in the past, like when I was relaxed and then when I became natural, my hair has always been excessively dry. So, you know, after be uh, becoming locked, I noticed that my hair especially like let's say I wash my hair I do a retwist and everything and like several weeks like a few weeks down the line I notice that my hair becomes a little bit more stiffer a little bit more I don't know crispier <laughs> so you know for the lack of a better word but it just you can tell that it's slowly starting to dry out and um so what I've been having to do is I have a spray bottle with lemongrass oil and water and I have another water bottle with just plain water and twice a day when I wake up in the morning when I go to bed at night I spray my locks with the water and I seal it in with um, an oil. I have like the olive oil um, mix in a bottle and I'll spray my hair with that or any any kind of oil or hair uh, grease and that kind of helps seals in the moisture. I do notice that products with glycerin tends to help my hair retain moisture better. The only thing is that with the glycerin it kind of contributes to the buildup. You know, it, it makes your hair feel soft, it makes it feel moisturized, but it does contribute to the buildup. And um, I think you have to be very careful with the amount that you spray on your hair. Don't be too heavy handed with it because it will cause some issues down the line. I've also noticed that drying my hair takes a little bit longer now. Um, my last retwist that I did, Normally, like I'll, I have like the hooded, the bonnet dryer and I'll sit underneath that and usually like less than an hour, I'm done drying my hair. My hair is pretty much dry. But I noticed this last time, um, my hair seemed more, it, it was not dry after over an hour. And I think that's because my hair is becoming so much more heavier. Even I can feel like the weight, like whenever I move my hair, I can feel the extra weight of my hair. So I think that that the extra hair that I have on my hair 
on my head is holding on to the moisture, holding on to the water from my shampoo and causing my hair to be more um, harder to dry um, whenever I sit underneath the dryer. I also noticed too that, um, you know, I do have a whole lot more hair on my head and you know, pretty much locks is, is a lot of your shedded hair that would have normally ended up on the floor, but now it's just sitting in your hair. So it's not only do you have the hair that would normally be on your head, but you also have the hair that would have normally shed it out of your head, landed on the floor in your comb or brush or whatever. And so now that's adding to the density of your overall, um, the overall amount of hair that you have on your head and making it even more difficult to dry. In a previous video, I talked about how like I have like breakage in the back of my nape and that's something that I've always had ever since I was young and that hair has never grown long. But since I have been, you know, wetting my hair twice a day, um, you know, moisturizing my hair, especially this area back here, I've been really, really babying it. I noticed that it's starting to grow and even my edges like my edges have never been like really thick or anything like that but i even noticed like in my my edges have become more filled in like it's like it's coming back from the dead it's like i have like little baby hairs that i i'm pretty sure that i probably burned off years ago with my relaxers and everything so um so i, I did i have noticed some good things like that I've also noticed that shrinkage is slowly be, slowly decreasing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't. It's not as bad as it used to be, but you know, I, I'm I'm slowly starting to see where the shrinkage is starting to decrease. So I'm really excited about that. Another thing that I've been doing is going a little bit longer in between my retwist. So usually I'll, I'll go four weeks and I've added on two weeks for a total of six weeks total in between each retwist. And I think I'm going to leave it at that for right now until my hair grows out even more and I can go out, go longer in between the retwist. I think like when you first lock your hair, because your hair is not locked at all, it's harder to go long without a retwist. But as your hair starts to lock up, especially as it gets closer to the root, um, it's easier to go longer without a retwist because it doesn't look as puffy or as, as bad as it would if you went like six weeks, you know, during the first month of locking your hair. So I have been going longer in between retwist. Um, I do swim a lot. So most of the time, even with me swimming, my retwist will last about, two to three weeks and that's with me swimming now like the back of my hair um that will unravel because that tends to be the area where the water will seep through my swim cap and soak the hair that retwist is pretty much gone back there but the hair on top i don't know if you can see but i mean it, it's still it's struggling but it will stay intact even with me swimming with my swim cap on so even with it unraveling in the back, this kind of much covers what has unraveled and I can pretty much get away with, you know, not retwisting my hair until the six weeks it is up. Even with me going to the pool three, two, three times a week. I did combine a lock at the nape of my, my head and it's because I think I may have talked about this before, but this lock right here is actually combined and interlocked and um, interlocking is something that I'm not a fan of but the reason why I, I did it is because one of these locks was so thin I knew that it was going to pretty much just jump ship it was just on its way out and from you know from the beginning I knew it was going to be a problem so I went ahead and interlocked it and combined them so this is two locks that I combined and the root is pretty much very strong now. So I'm pretty happy about that. That's the only lock that I've combined so far. 
everything else in my hair is pretty much has a strong root so I don't think I'll have to combine anymore. So I did buy some lock jewelry. I don't know if you can see it. It's like little little rings. Oh my God. I'm looking over here so you can I can show you which direction I have it in. But there's one right here and there's one right there. And I have like run right here. And I bought some more because I really like the little rings because they're they're not too um they're not too bold and I can wear them to work without have not without you know people looking and peering in my hair trying to figure out what that is but I really like the rings I, I decided to kind of keep them in um, and I noticed the only thing I did notice is that a few of them are kind of tarnishing and they're supposed to be 18 karat gold plated so a few of them I may have to take out and, and <laughs> clean and put them back in but i really do like the rings because it's very it's a subtle touch to your hair without being too over the top i noticed that quite a few people were doing a um lock counts like they're counting their locks and when i first started my locks they were i think i had i started i ended up with like 81 82 and then i combined something happened and i I think right, right, right about now my lock count is probably 76, 76 or 77, somewhere in that area. I'm, I know I'm not over 80 locks on my head, and um, you know I chose that count because I don't want my whole life consumed with retwisting. Like I see some people who say they got like a, over 100 locks on their head. And I just don't want my whole day consumed with retwisting my hair. I, I want to go ahead and do it and be done with it. And that was one of the reasons why I chose not to do sister locks or micro locks or anything like that. That would, that would re require over a day or, you know, a whole day to complete a retwist. I'm not about that life no more. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done with spending hours and hours and hours on my hair and that's why I chose to lock my hair is you know because I'm I wanted something low maintenance I don't have that kind of time to sit in even if even if it's every two months I just don't have that kind of time to just sit there I have no desire to sit there for over eight hours retwisting 300 400 even over 100 locks I just don't want to do it so kudos to those of you who have have micro locks have sister locks they, they are beautiful and i love looking at some of the ladies who do have them but i know at this point in my life i just don't have that kind of time to invest and um you know that that many locks so that is my update on my hair um I, and i'm like should I just, I'm gonna show y'all the back of my hair and this excuse what I'm wearing cause I just got off from work and I still have my scrubs on but I had my undershirt on. So yeah, just ignore that. But this is what my hair looks like in the back. And um, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I would promise I will try to be a little bit more regular with my videos. My son was, he was like, when was the last time you did a video? <laughs> it's, it, you need to do something. So, you know, if my son is getting on me about it, I need to, I need to do, I, I need to do better. Okay. So I will be getting back with you guys within a few days. I promise. And I hope you have a good Tuesday. And I will talk to you soon. Oh, subscribe, comment, help a sister out. I would appreciate it. Bye.